是，哦、oh. ，你知道是 Gabriel。Hi Gabriel. So I think we should wait, maybe like five more minutes, while we wait for people to join. Hi Lucy. Okay. I think that's everybody for now. So we're gonna start. Um. So hi guys, welcome to our June third building bridges meeting lesson. So our homework was, what is your favorite habitat? So teacher Chris, would you like to pick on a student to answer the question? Sure. So, last week we talked about a lot of habitats. Uh, now, now, do you want to tell us what your favorite habitat was? Now, now. Uh, what was your favorite? Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Um, that's interesting. Gabriel, Gabriel, how about you? Yeah. I think you need to unmute. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is too sweet. It's too sweet. Sweet. Sorry, can you, you say that again? I like to swim. Sleep, right? Okay. Um. Teacher. Oh, that's interesting. So, uh, uh this is a common, uh, miscon. Like it's easy to get mixed up between the word habitat, and the word habit. So the word habitat, which is what we talked about last week, a habitat, is. A place where animals live. For example, animals live in the ocean. Animals live in forests. So a forest is a habitat.、Uh, the ocean is a habitat. And a habit is、uh, something that people do.、Uh, what was that? A lot. Hmm. A lot. It's something people do a lot. Uh, yeah. Um, if we want to like show them the habitats that we introduced last week, do you think we could go forward two slides, please? I don't think that's on. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. So last week we went over tundra animals, desert animals, and aquatic animals. So from the tundra, desert. An aquatic life system. Would somebody like to talk about their favorite habitat? So, do you like the water, the desert, or the tundra, like the cold? Teacher Chris, would you like to choose somebody? Uh, sure. No, no.、Uh, you were gone before, but do you have a favorite habitat you want to talk about now?、Mm. Is the sunlight? Oh, sunlight. Okay, so in English, sunlight is forest. Forest. Okay, so forest. Yes. Uh, is there any reason you like the forest, Nana? Spider, snake. Oh yes. 
That's right. There are a lot of spiders and snakes in the forest. And I also think they're cool animals. Uh, how about Tiger. Lucy? Oh, yes. Tigers are also in the forest. Good job. Uh, Lucy, how about you answer now? What is your favorite habitat? Mm. My favorite habitat is green forest. That's cool. I also like the rainforest. Uh, do you also want to tell us why you like the rainforest? Lucy, is there a reason you like the rainforest? That's okay. Uh, you can keep thinking about it. Uh, how about Jason? What's your favorite habitat? Um, um, uh, no. There's not a habitat that you really like? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Sometimes habitats just aren't all that great. So mm -hmm. if we could go to the conversation slide that we skipped, um, Teacher Chris, would you like to read the conversation slide and start our discussion? Okay. So the conversation for this week is What's your favorite animal in the tundra, desert, or aquatic ecosystem? For example, my favorite animal in the aquatic ecosystem is the clownfish, because I really like the movie Finding Nemo. Uh, do you want to, Christiana, do you want to, Christina, do you want to continue? I, um... Gabriel, um, from the tundra, the aquatic, or the desert ecosystems, what type of animals do you like? Is there an animal you particularly like? I like... Bear? You like bear? Do you like polar bears, like the white ones? Yes. Polar bears are very cute. Thank you so much for answering. Um, now, now. Point. Could you say that again? Point. Elephant. Elephants? Very nice. Yes. I'm not quite sure if elephants live in this in the tundra, the desert, or aquatic ecosystems, but we are going to be talking about elephants, and I think that's really cool that you mentioned that. Thank you so much for participating. Thank you so much. And Lucy. Um, just a reminder to keep your cameras on, just so we could see your faces. Um, Lucy, what type of animals do you like from the tundra, the desert, or aquatic ecosystem? So could you answer the question on the slide? I, don't, I think Lucy's not on right now, so I think we should move down to Jason. Um, oh, actually, Lucy's here. Hi, Lucy. Uh, it's Advent 2. Well, again, that ties in, but it's great that you guys brought it up. 
thank you so much for participating. Um, next, Jason, what is your favorite animal in the tundra, desert, or aquatic ecosystem? Uh, I like, uh, 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 shark. You like the shark? That's great. Shark is in the aquatic ecosystem. Thank you so much for participating, Jason. That was a great answer. So... This slide is the type of answer that you could give. So as you can see, we have pictures from the tundra, the desert, and the aquatic system. So we see the clownfish from Finding Nemo that teacher Chris mentioned. We can also see the shark that Jason mentioned. So thank you guys for participating. So now this week, we will be learning about some new habitats. Uh, I think we'll start with the rainforest, which I remember one of you mentioned was your favorite habitat. So we'll go over that now. Um, a rainforest is an area of tall, mostly evergreen trees. And evergreen just means like, always stays green even in like uh the fall or autumn when like usually trees aren't green and in the rainforests there's a lot of rainfall so it's very hot and humid it's so hot that the average temperature so like the temperature is usually somewhere around 28 degrees celsius and Rainforests are found in the tropics, which, as like it says, it's Chinese is like Rodaiditu, that's the tropics, and the region between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. So it's like just above and below the equator, which is like the midline on the earth. The equator is like, as you can see on that image there, like just the line that splits the earth. And uh, rainforests are full of biodiversity, meaning there's lots of different types of species of plants and animals that live in rainforests. So, oh, that seems like a bad question to do. <laughs> um, th does anyone know any of the countries that like have rainforests? I think instead, maybe we should propose a question asking them to describe the rainforest based on like the areas that we've shown. So could somebody describe the rainforest? Teacher Chris, would you like to call on somebody? Sure. Uh, Gabriel, have you, like, do you want to, Talk about what you imagine when someone says rainforest. Like, really vast. Yes. There is a lot of rain, so it would make sense that it's really wet. Uh, Jason, do you have anything to add to that? Jason? It's all right if you don't. Uh, how about now now? When someone says a rainforest, what do you imagine? What do you think of? Um, what was that? No, I don't know. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. We'll continue talking about it, and hopefully uh, you'll be able to know afterwards. How about Lucy? Uh, when you, someone says rainforest, what do you think of? Uh, 
That's all right if you can't answer right now. It was a tricky question. When someone says rainforest, I think about uh, a big river or also lots of different bugs and animals. Speaking of animals in the rainforest, we'll move on to the next slide. Okay, so... These are rainforest animals, and so we wanted to know how many of these animals you guys can name. So let's start off with Jason, since we didn't get to go to him last time. Jason, if you're on, could you please describe one of the animals in the pictures and put a name to them? What animal do you see? Uh, elephant, monkey. That's Tiger and uh, frog. Good job. I actually only needed you to do one, but you did four, and that's absolutely great. Thank you so much for contributing to class. Um, that was lovely. Now, let's move on to now, 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 now. Hi, now, now. So, could you name an elephant? Oh, not an elephant. Could you name an animal in these pictures? Elephant. Uh huh. Um. Anything else? Mom. Elephant. Elephant. Great job, now, 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 now. Didn't you say that it was one of your favorite animals? Monkey. Oh yeah, monkeys are also on there. Um. Now, now, do you like elephants? Tiger, vlog. Okay, those are also on there. Um, thank you so much for sharing now now. We'll ask the questions later on. Um, Gabriel. Oh great, no, no. Um, Gabriel, could you name an animal on the slide, preferably something someone hasn't already mentioned? Frog monkey. Mm-hmm. Great. Great job, Gabriel. Gorilla, elephant. Oh, that's great. Okay, thank Who you so much. bird on here? I, I don't even know this bird's name. I would assume. Oh, nope, I don't okay. know this bird. Um, so these were the names. Um, we had elephants, gorillas, the red-eyed tree frog, which is oddly specific, um, a cassowary, oari, a tiger, and a monkey. So you guys actually got a lot of them right. I'm really impressed. I think monkey counts for two. I think it, I think it counts for double. Point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, next slide. So uh, we, we talked about the frog in the picture was the red-eyed tree frog. Uh, I guess we'll talk about this frog a bit more. It is carnivorous, meaning it eats meat. Uh, in this case, the frog usually has a diet, meaning it eats mostly insects. And the frog has bright colors, which allow it to confuse predators, meaning it helps it stay alive so that and it won't be eaten by other things the red eyed tree frog have has toes that have sticky pads that helps the frog stay on sticks oh that helps frog the frog stick on leaves and branches that's how they're able to like climb up trees and the the frogs even though they're very colorful they aren't poisonous so yeah uh and also they hide their colors when they're sleeping 
uh, we said that the frog was uh, a carnivorous, meaning it ate meat. Uh, so the question is, do you like to eat meat? Uh, I guess we'll start with, with Lucy this time. Lucy, do you like to eat meat? I don't like. Okay. So do you, uh, are you a vegetarian? Yes, that's hard to answer. Uh, I guess, sorry, could you repeat that? Lucy? Oh, it's okay. Uh, now, now, how about you? Do you like to eat meat? No, I don't like. Is there a reason why you just don't like the taste? Or maybe like you like, uh, you worry about the environment. Is there a reason? I don't know. Okay, that's all right. Uh, Jason, do you like to eat meat? Huh? What? Do you like to eat meat? Yes. Yes. Uh, is there like a specific type? Do you like steak or beef? Or do you like chicken? Is there anything specific? Mm, I like uh, chicken. Okay, that makes sense. I like chicken as well. Uh, thank you for answering. Uh, Gabriel, how about you? I, I like beef. Oh, you like beef? Okay, that's cool. I also like beef. So, so that was a weird so. Okay, anyways. The other rainforest animals that we've talked about is the tiger, and actually a lot of you guys have mentioned the tiger, so that's great. Um, so this is the Bengal tiger. They like to eat antelopes, boars, monkeys, pigs, birds, and sometimes even elephants. They're one of the largest cats in the world. They're very strong, and fast and actually their babies or their cubs are born blind so they can't see they like to hunt at night and a group of these tigers are called an ambush or streak so do you guys like tigers um let's start with now 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 do you like tigers yes I do. Um, why? Do you like the way they look or? It's very cool. Oh, you think they're very cool? Thank you so much for participating. That was a great answer. Um, Gabriel, do you like tigers? Actually, kind of because I think their way of living is kind of unique. That was very good and very nice vocabulary using unique. Um, Jason, do you like tigers? Uh, yes, I like tigers. Is there a specific reason why, or do you just like tigers? Because it's too cool and so interesting. 
Oh, you think it's very interesting. That's a great answer. Thank you so much for participating, Jason. Um, lastly, Lucy, do you like tigers? Yes, I like. Um, or actually, what makes a tiger special to you, if they are special to you? Okay, the next uh, habitat we will be talking about is the grassland. Uh, so as the name like kind of suggests, the grassland is an open area with lots of grass. And there's a few trees as well, but it's mostly like open and long grass. And it doesn't rain as much in the grassland so it's dry, which is quite different from the rainforest we talked about. And there are two main types of grasslands. There's the temperate grasslands and there are savannas. So a lot of grasslands are in Africa and America. So if you go there, you can find a lot and because there's like so much grass in the grasslands, there's a lot of animals that live there. So uh, does anyone have any idea what type of animals could live in grasslands? Uh, Gabriel, how about you go first? Do you know any animals that live in grass? Cheetah or kangaroos? Yes. They do both live in grasslands. Jason, how about you? Do you know any animals that live in grass? Uh, lion. Yes, the lion also lives in grasslands. Uh, I think we're also talking about them uh, next slide or something like that. So we'll re uh, revisit that. Uh, now, now. Do you know any other animals that could live in grasslands? Elephants. Yes. Elephants also live in grasslands and specifically the savanna as well. And we also will talk about elephants, I believe, in two slides. Uh, Lucy, how about you? Do you know any other animals that live in grasslands? Zebra. Yes. And the oh, you guys know a lot. You guys know a lot of animals that live in grass. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so next slide should be... The animals. So can you name these animals and I think we actually named a lot of them, and it goes back to the question that Chris asked, but now, now, could you name a few animals on this slide? Yes. A fox, a calm, a blazer, a elephant, a elephant, a lion. I I don't know. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing now now. It's a, it's great because you got a lot of them down. Um next, can we have Gabriel? Gabriel, can you name a few of these animals? Hey Gabriel. Could mm. you name Giraffe, ze zebra, mm -hmm. elephant, lion, mm -hmm. fox, cheetah. That's actually basically all of them. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, Jason, do you want to also pick a few that you want to name? Uh, 
Fox. Uh, uh, zebra. Uh, elephant, lion, giraffe, and a leopard. It's also a good leopard. Good job. And lastly, Lucy, do you want to name a few of these animals? I know I could see one that you really like to bring up. So, Lucy, would you want? To name a few of these animals. Um, fox, zebra, elephant, lion, and giraffe. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing, Lucy. So these are the answers to the names. Good. Go to the next slide. Right. So we have the fox, the bi the bison, the zebra, the elephant, the lion, the cheetah, and the giraffe. So Okay, so now we can talk about the elephant, which a lot of you guys brought up before. Um there are two main types of elephants. There's the African elephant, and there's the Asian elephant, and they're named by like where you can find them. Interestingly, African elephants are actually the biggest land animal in the world. They also weigh the most. And did you know that every day, elephants can spend 18 hours eating? Uh, they usually eat leaves, <clears throat> and grass. I also want to spend 18 hours a day eating. Um, and that <clears throat> their tusks are actually just their teeth. They're just very big teeth. Elephants have very thick skin, and also they are very smart animals. So the question is, do you want to have tusks like an elephant? Uh... Lucy, do you want tusks like an elephant? Mm, no. Any reason why? Because the Track is so long. That's that's true. I don't know how you would fit a tusk in your mouth. Um, now now same question. Do you want tusks like an elephant? No, I don't. Hmm, that makes sense. Uh, how about Jason? Tusks like an elephant? Yes or no? Mm. Uh, no. Do you have a specific reason why? Mm, because um, it's too too big. Hmm. That's true. Gabriel, how about you? Uh, actually, I will even not try to think about it because I think I'll be feeling like I eating a food that may have to. Mm, that's right. I think it'll be hard. But you know, if you had tusks, you could you could cut them off and sell them and you'll make a lot of money. So uh just something to think about. Next slide. So 
Here we have lions, and lions are also a type of big cat. I'm starting to see a pattern, and so we know that lions are very fast. They can actually run up to 81 kilometers an hour. And lions usually live in groups of 10 to 15, called a pride. Lions eat meat. They will hunt other animals, like zebras that we saw on our grassland slide and you guys have named. Did you know that you can hear a lion roar from eight kilometers away? That's really, really loud. And female lions hunt while male lions protect the group. Have you ever heard the sound of a lion? So it could be a recording, by the way. So let's start with Now Now. Now Now, have you ever heard the sound of a lion? Yeah. You have? Where did you hear it? Yes. Um, where did you hear it? Did you hear it on TV? Or like in person? No, no, where did you hear it? I don't know. That's okay. Thank you so much for sharing, Now Now. And now can we have Lucy? Lucy, have you ever heard the sound of a lion or a lion roar? Um, I don't. You don't know? That's that's okay. Thank you so much for sharing, Lucy and Jason. Have you ever heard of the sound? Mm. Mm. I don't know. That's okay. Thank you so much for sharing, Jason. And lastly, Gabriel. Gabriel, have you ever heard the sound of a lion or a lion roar? It could be on television. It could be on TV. Actually, I didn't. Mm, you haven't. It's okay. Um, thank you so much for sharing, Gabriel. So, uh, I, I guess we'll move on to our last habitat today. Uh, so when we think of animals, sometimes we forget about how many animals live in cities just all around us. Recently, there has been a rapid, meaning a very quick growth of cities around the world. These environments, also called habitats, I guess in this case, are usually made up of many buildings and skyscrapers. And thousands of people live in, this, in a single city. So there are lots of cars, lights, and noise. 55% of the world's population live in cities. So, uh, I guess the question is, uh, have you lived in a city and also like, 
what cities have you lived in? Uh, Gabriel, how about you go first this time? Have you lived in a city? And like, what cities have you lived in? Actually, I'm in a city right now. Mm -hmm. Do you mind saying what city you're in? Uh, I don't know. Uh, It, uh, it's all right. Jason, any cities that you have been to? Um, I have uh, lived in a uh, a city. Okay, so what cities have you lived in? You can say their Chinese names, if like the uh, Chinese cities. Uh, Chengdu. Mm hmm. Oh, that's that is a very big city. Okay. Uh, how about you, Lucy? What cities have you lived in? Or like, have you lived in a city? Lucy, are you there? Yeah. Mm. Um, mm, um okay that's all right uh now now do you want to list a few cities that you've lived in or like want to go to no oh okay there's nowhere you want to go any cities you want to be in or like want to go to? I don't know. Okay, that's all right. For example, I would want to go to uh, Beijing because I've never been to Beijing before. Uh, we can go to the next slide. A little too far, I think. Um, I guess not. So these are the animals that live in cities. Um, so the ones we have listed are pigeons, rats, crows, raccoons, and squirrels. Can you guys name any other animals not in the pictures that also live in cities? So how about we start with Jason? Jason, what are some animals that live in cities, but are not in our pictures. Uh, dog and cat. That's so true. We also have dogs and cats. I actually have a dog downstairs. Um, are you a dog person or a cat person? Uh, I have a dog and cat. Oh, so it's hard to decide? Oh. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing, Jason. Um, now now. So can you think of any other animals that also live in cities? Dog. Dog? That's so true. Um Kite. You... say that again. Kite. Hide is not exactly an animal, but they are also in cities. Um, now, now, do you like dogs? Yes. Oh, me too. Yes. Now, now, were you saying something? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Okay. 
Thank you so much for sharing, Now Now. Um, Lucy, what are some other animals that also live in cities? The mm. the birds. Birds, you're so right. Other than pigeons, there's a lot of birds that do live in cities. Um, yeah. do you like bird watching? So looking at birds. Yes. Very cool. Thank you so much for sharing, Lucy. And Gabriel, um, what are some other animals than the ones in the picture that you see in cities? Because I know you live in a city. Have you seen any other animals? Some insects. Insects. That's so true. Is there a specific insect in Super annoying. I actually don't know about their names in English. It's okay. You can say it in Chinese. If you want. Or Mandarin. Or whatever dialect. Those. That kind of. Insects, eggs. In spring, they all make noise on the tree. Oh, like crickets? Yeah, they they get really annoying. Thank you so much for sharing, Gabriel. So we're gonna move on and talk more about the images that we have. So, Teacher Chris, if you could please take over. Uh, uh, do we have slides on? the? Yeah, we should, right? Okay. Cool. So, the pigeon. Uh, pigeons are scavengers. So they will eat just about anything. They'll eat like insects, fruit, and human leftovers. So like if you throw out some like bread, you'll see a bunch of pigeons just come to you. Uh, female pigeons actually have less brightly colored feathers than male pigeons. So yeah, they're just less colorful. And pigeons are well adapted to the city because cities are similar to the cliffs they live in in the wild. I guess you can kind of imagine just like the really tall buildings as tall cliffs. And, the, and also pigeons are good at navigation. That means that they can, they can find their way around the city. Also, pigeons mate for life, a bit like humans. So like they get married to their pigeon buddies and also, they pigeons have really good hearing. I don't have good hearing. So, do you have good hearing? Uh, no, no. Do you have good hearing? Can you hear things well? Yes, I do. You have good? Okay. I'm jealous because I play an instrument and I can't tell chords to save my life. Lucy, how about you? Do you have good hearing? How do you? Lucy? Um, um, yes. Yeah? Do you like listening to music? Yes. Cool. Uh, how about you, Jason? You like I have good hearing. <laughs> do you like do you like listening to music? Huh? What? Do you like listening to music? 
Yes. Is there a type of music that you like? Like maybe rock or pop or rap? I don't know. Okay. Um, speak Chinese. Sure. Uh, 电音 Oh, okay. So like electric music. The、like the computer like noise like generated sounds that's cool.、Uh, how about you, Jake Gabriel?、Uh, is there a type of music that you like listening to? I also like electronic music. Cool. It's a good genre. So next, we are going to be talking about raccoons. And so, raccoon the 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 raccoons like rummage, so they like to rummage through trash cans. Um, they eat food like cat and dog food, vegetables, fruits, and insects. So they're kind of like scavengers. They have a sharp sense of smell. And they have nimble hands, which is useful for opening doors and contain. Raccoons are very smart. They are also nocturnal, and they're very fast. So, how fast are you? And before we get into that, um, going back to their nimble hands, could what do you think nimble means? Could somebody describe what nimble means? Because it's one of the harder words. So, Jason, do you think you could explain what nimble means? Uh, 敏捷 So, try to explain it with, I guess, more simple vocabulary, like. Try to describe around the word. Oh, I think that might have been a little hard. Sorry, guys. My bad. So the question we wanted to ask is, how fast are you? So let's start from Gabriel. Gabriel, how fast are you? Are you really fast? Are you like a cheetah, Gabriel? I. In which situation? Oh, so it depends on the situation. That's a very good answer. Um, how about now? Now, 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 how fast are you? Hmm. No. You're not very fast. No. You're not. Okay. Um. Are you as slow as a snail? So do you move like very slowly, or do you like to run sometimes? Now, now, do you like to run? Yes. Nice. No. No. It's okay. Running is not for everyone. Definitely not me. Um, Jason. Sorry about the harder question. Um, how fast are you? Uh. Um. Um, I don't know how fast.、Uh... Thank you so much for answering, Jason. Um, and then finally, Lucy, how fast are you? 
Um, um, I think um, I think I'm lonely. Did you say that last part again? Okay, um, I guess we're moving on. She said so... she was slow. Oh, slow. Mm. Very cool, Lucy. Thank you so much for answering. But it, but it's not so slow. You're not too slow. I got you, I got you. So, this is, I guess, our homework. We go back to where we were. So, Teacher Chris, would you like to explain the homework once we get there? Yes. So, homework. The homework question is, if you were an animal, what animal would you be? And what habitat would you live in? So, as an example, if I were an animal, I would be a tiger. Uh, because I think they're very cool as well, and they're very powerful creatures. And I would want to be in a forest, because it would be nice and cool, because it would be uh, shielded by all the trees. Uh, Christina, how about you? Um, if I was an animal, I think I would be a zebra. And I would be in, I guess, more of the grasslands or the savanna area. Cool. So this week, as before next class, please think about this question. If you were an animal, what animal would you be? And what habitat would you live in? I think we're running a bit low on time this week. So we'll have to skip the game. But uh, everyone, have a good week. And uh, thank you for coming this week. It was great getting to know you guys. See you guys next time. See Bye. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.